<clears throat> All right. Gotta get back to the fast Elden Ring. Yeah. Okay. No, not that one. There we go. Gotta get back to the past Elden Ring. Watcha! Gotta get back to the past Elden Ring. Man, I don't want to work tomorrow. Yes, that inappropriate activity because EAC is disabled. I've already mentioned that a couple of times. All right. When we left off, we just got into Morn Castle. Yeah, Castle Morn. This is... Did I die there? I think I must have. Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't want to go down there. this switch the shield or this switch the torch back to the shield that is no that's a summoning pool okay so we're assuming that note that I picked up is related to these. Demi-humans, or whatever, whatever the term was that they used. Okay. Could have done better. No, not solid. More of these. More of these things that look like rocket launchers or grenade launchers or something. Hmm. Oh, is that the leader? That one that's facing everyone else? Come on. Oh. If this is going to be a low FPS area, then I'm not going to even bother. This might be a quest I'll have to save for when the invisible enemies bug is actually solved. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to do that. It's just going to make me mad. What is that up there? Curious. This, however, is a challenge. 
worthy of my talents. The question is, why is he even guarding this place? Yeah, he looks like some sort of automaton. He doesn't look like he's alive. Doing decent damage to him. Here's Golem Great Bow. Great arrow. Nice. Cool. Ah. Dang it. Got away. Sheep got away. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Maybe there's another way in. No, probably not. Not from up down here. It's an old boat. It's a funny little detail. Great Erd Tree is over here, I'm assuming. Oh, there's something to fight. Oh, God damn it. They broke my guard. Friggin' dogs. I had 1,200 souls on me, too. Is the golem gonna be bad? It's a good question. Nope, the golem is one and done. That's kind of what I thought.
I got... still got lots of arrows. This is far more effective for dogs. Especially since they just kind of run at you in a straight line. Golden rune. Okay. Ooh. Is that what I think I see? I didn't get anything. Fuck. Yeah, sometimes they don't drop anything, and I don't get really get why. Are you penguins? Oh no, you're not penguins. You're just some friendly seabirds. No, oh, I thought those were wolves for a second. Okay. I don't really have a particular goal. I'm just wandering around. Doing some exploring. Hmm. What's with this tree? Golden seed. Nice. So if I find more trees like this, they'll probably have golden seeds too, eh? You know, some of these ruined structures that are, like, lying around, there seems to be a lot of them. Across the land. And I was thinking they would be like, you know, region specific, but they're all over the place, which kind of makes me think. And like, kind of makes me think they were actually just everywhere. Or at least in all the places I've been so far anyway. Hmm. So it's kind of like, what did they used to be? Who built them? What was their purpose? Is this where I came from? Yeah, this is where I came from. There is another path up here. Let's investigate this a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh, you're just gonna run away. I wanted to see if he'd be hostile. Doesn't appear to be the case. Ooh. Oh, you're a squirrel. Statue of America. So some shit's about to go down here. A 
noise. Ooh, okay, rats. Ooh, they have something special. What is that? Yellow. I <laughs> yellow. <laughs> is it as a that's actually yeah, that's not what it meant, but yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Yellow Ember. Okay, so... Something is going on with yellow. Are we going back to some Yellow King bullshit? I think we are. Now, is this going to be funny hat madness, or is this going to be like hypogean gal madness? Okay, I can't enter. Can I? No, not on this side at least. No. Okay, well, we just got some items. What are those? Oh, those are goats. Okay, that makes sense. Let's take a look. No. Yellow Ember. Material used for crafting items. An ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. A sign that the deceased suffered from the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. Yeah, so we are definitely dealing with some madness type stuff. Like some serious madness. Flower, what was the yellow? Yeah, oh. Eye of Yellow. A shrub fruit bursting with ripened pulp. Material used for crafting items. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy. It's used for its pain relieving properties. Though it's also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. Okay, so yellow is frenzy. Sanctuary stone. A rare piece of stone fragment you found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. You know what? It kind of crossed my mind that those random ruins that I was talking about before might have just come from the sky. But I was like, no, that sounds that sounds ridiculous. But maybe there were like a bunch of structures built overhead once upon a time that fell down or something like that. Because the state that the world is in now, we have reason to believe it has not always been this way. Yellow Ember again. Is this... Okay, no, this is a new spot. I don't get... What is the deal with these things? They look like gravestones, but they're sticking out at the side of a cliff. There's... 
this Erd tree. And then there's the Great Erd tree. Am I gonna learn something cool if I go there? I mean, like, I'm not that far away from it. Am I, am I going to gain cool knowledge? How cool is this knowledge that I could potentially gain? Alright, so... This game is definitely borrowing some stuff from Bloodborne. Oh, hello. Are you a friend? I don't know, because I cannot see you. Oh, you got frenzy eyes. We're in low frame rate town as well. Ooh. Gotcha. All right. I find that's a pretty effective combo, doing the jump attack and then following up with the light. Range could be better on it, though. That was my Discord, by the way. In case you were wondering. I should... I should modify that, so... OBS is not picking up all my desktop audio. Just the stuff from the game. Or I should just turn off Discord, one or the other. Both are acceptable. Oh, there's some people I'd like to hear from on Discord, so... I tend to not do that very often. Okay, so what do we got here? Golden rune. Yippee! Now, ooh, pretty flowers. Okay, there's a bridge over there. Cross the bridge. Oh, there's more. Fuck me. Well, let's cross the bridge, I guess. I was gonna say, oh wait, there's more houses and settlements to explore. And then where I was walking was not the, what I thought it was. What is that? It is alive. Oh, oh, I see. I could try to sneak past him, and then run past him. There's probably going to be something on the other end of this bridge, right? isn't there? I've got two flasks. Frame rate is starting to drop. Can I do a backstab on him? Ooh, he swung overhead. Okay, he's, he moves fast. Fuck 
fucking right. Okay. Oof. Did I not get help lives from, or souls from that? Is he dead? Did I kill him? Yeah, okay. Like, if I'm... Am I gonna walk away and have him come back to life or something? But slightly more pissed off. Man. Yeah, I feel like... I must have gotten some, some runes from him. I just wasn't paying close attention. I know. Watch this bridge snap or something like that. Yeah, he still looks dead. Okay. What are you? Oh. Oh, you were just sitting there. No. Well, that was a parry. Oh, cool mask. I like your drip. Can I get a mask like that? Well, I got the feeling if I want to get up to that Erd tree, got a little ways to go. I'm calling it an Erd tree, but it's probably not actually called that. It just remind. It just looks like the Erd tree, albeit a fair bit smaller. Excuse me. Okay. Well, let us go. Do do do. -do. Okay, we are passing by enemies that I cannot see right now. love being able to parry invisible enemies. So there's that thing there. I'm assuming that's some giant enemy that's just having to sit down. Maybe he doesn't want to be bothered. Oh, there's a Shrine America. This is a boss fight. Summoning pool is now functional. Nope, nothing to summon. Look at all these pots. What do you look like? Minor Erd Tree. Oh. Huh.
Okay, bird tree avatar. He was paying closer attention than I realized. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Some respectable damage. Dodge too early. That's okay. Alright. We've got our challenge. No. Stake of America. Look at the Stake of America. I'm probably not the only person making a Let's Play and making that joke. Okay, that's a dude. Okay, I should have been ready for that one. Okay, that makes an explosion. Oh, and a bunch of lights shoot at you. You had an ad. That guy must have been wandering around nearby. Because I'm pretty sure I saw one of these guys before the fight started. Let's take America. Okay, so, the Wandering Nobles don't do that great. Maybe I'll try a Noble Sorceress. Sorcerer. Okay, well, you're here now. Dodge too, too slow on the dodge. Nice. Probably should have switched to the dagger, but. gonna be one of those. Never did beat the hound, did I? Let's 
to kill this dude. Guardian Sword and Spear. Oh, nice. Okay, there's another one over here. Yes. Okay, it was just those two. Dang it. Ooh, I thought that got me for a second there. Do I even have any runes? I think I must have lost them. Yeah, I lost them on the previous one. Yeah, oh yeah. This is... oh. I mean, that was an option. It wasn't a great option, but it was an option. Take this one out first. Not that the order matters. I'm just deciding to take this one out first. Guardian Garb. Nice. Just out of curiosity. Same weight. Slightly better on everything except Slash and Pierce, which is fine. I don't think this guy does slash or pierce. Let's do it. Poison. Alright. Well, I am poison now. I don't have any way to recover from poison. And this seems decently powerful for poison. Doesn't even notice me if I'm just sitting here. Oh, it's just a Fucking dung beetle. I was wondering what was making that noise. I want to check out the singing. more bats there.
see what the deal is with Batman. The Bat of the Opera. How do we get down there? Go this way. Come on. Damn. 30 arrows. No more heals. If he stops singing... When I get close, then I'm just going to assume he's evil. He sings while fighting me, I'm just gonna get freaked out. I'm probably gonna die. Sliver of meat. Wow, that was not worth it. I mean, it was a cool encounter, but I was expecting... Okay, well... Can I teleport away? Okay, yeah, I can teleport away while poisoned. That's handy. Well, I mean, I had to find out. Damn, okay. So that was weird, but cool. However, Minor Erd Tree. I didn't find... Wait, is this the jail? Yeah, Forlorn. Seaside Ruins. Let's check it out. You know, I wouldn't mind taking another crack at the Hound. Oh, yeah. He is over there, if I'm correct. No, I'm looking the wrong way. He is over there. Yeah, no, I'm... That thing about ruins falling from the sky? That's this stuff here. That I'm standing on. Well, there's that fight. I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah, can you imagine, though? Batman just kept on singing while fighting me. That would be intense. 
Shrine of America. My horse is just phasing in and out of existence. Alright. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. <clears throat> I hope that gets patched. So, we are at... 47 minutes. I'm going to take a short break. And if you are hearing me say that, then that probably means I forgot to cut this part. So, yeah. Okay. All right, and we're back. So we're going to round things out. Take another stab at this dude, Daryl. Oh, Knight Daryl. Is that what he's called? I forget. No. What else do we want to equip? I've never really tried using the bow on him. I'm gonna start with the bow, I think. No, we're not gonna start with the bow. I mean, I can just do that. Don't necessarily have to start with it. Okay. Ooh. That's the first time he's triggered blood loss on me, I think. Maybe not. I could be wrong. State of America. Boom. Forlorn Hound Evergowl. Evergowl. I like using that version of the word jail.
Dang it. I didn't get to stagger him. Should I try parrying him? You know what? Yeah, forget about it. 500 runes. Is it worth running back and spending that on arrows? Yeah. Church of Ella. You go to your go to the Church of Ella and say, I'll buy all Ella your arrows. Oh, I messed up the joke. But you got you get what I was going for. I'll buy I'll purchase Ella your arrows. Nick Warriors cookbook. Invigorating, you know what? That's what we should do. Goodbye. How are we for arrows, though? Twenty-nine. We we can we we can deal with that. Rest. Any items that we can craft that will buff us. Masks. No. Item crafting. Ah, golden roa. Land octopus ovary. Why does that have to be an ovary? Come on. You had to make it weird. Okay, so I got tons of roa fruit. Ten of those. Girl calling finger remedy. Reveals co op and hostile summoning signs. Bone arrows. Bone dart. Roped fire pot. I can make a ton of these. Containers, one. Cracked pot, zero out of one. So... Does it use a cracked pot? Or is it just like, there's a limit to how many cracked pots can be in use at a given time? Ah, shame. Need more golden roa and land octopus ovary. You kissed Urba. Okay, well, that doesn't really get me anything I was hoping for. I'll just teleport back over here. Let's go along the seaside a bit more. into those trees. That's cool. That looks cool. Is that an enemy I get to fight? Or is that a moving location? Some type? Oh, hello. You're land octopuses, aren't you? No ovaries. Dang it. No, they're all boys. Wait, so... I continue going this... Oh, okay, no, I want to go that way.
Oh, for a second I thought that was a set of grace. Which is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a set of grace right now. Okay. Oh. String. Oh, so these are demi humans. Or is demi human a catch all term for not quite human enemies? Hmm. What is below me? Uh, nothing. Get a little nervous getting too close to the edge like that. Ooh, Trina's lilies. Place beacon marker. Yeah, we can add Breath of the Wild style markers. Nice. Okay. I'll have to remember that. This is a good place to find Trina's lilies. What is on the other side? Okay, so that's that. up here. Got you. Bird sitting there like, yeah, I've seen it all. Who cares? More demi humans up here. You're done. You're done, Zo buddy. Packed up. Time to go home. Mushroom. Ooh, a large club. How large? Is it comically large by any chance? Uh, it's, yeah, it's... It's brushing up out along the edge of what would be considered normal to be holding on to. Cool. Okay. Hi. Do not have 22 strength. 
I do not even have half that. We never checked out the war pick. Warhammer with a hard protruding beak. A pickaxe designed for combat, in essence. Simple but a highly effective weapon. The weighty's piercing attack casually rips through metal armor. It's got a kick. What did the war pick have in DS3? I forget. A thick, solid lump of wood. Wielding this striking weapon requires no skill. A simple, primitive weapon that requires only brute strength to swing about. Barbaric roar. Okay, cool. Hmm. Guardian Sword Spear. Never read this. Weapon comprising a long handle and a broad blade sharpened from the hard wood of old trees, wielded by guardians of the minor Erd trees, known as experts in the arts of combat. The power of this weapon scales greatly with dexterity. What's it need? Oh, it needs good strength. Okay. So you need minimums for strength, and then dex go up, basically. That's what I'm hearing from this. Yeah. Alright, well, that was educational. So, I got a tooltip at one point saying I could do something with this. Yeah! Whoa! Okay, that was cool. Oh, well, we're going down, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to look out for those more. They definitely launch you. That is a thing that they appear to do. All right, let's do this fight. Ooh, lift it. Off to a great start. Just running from him is not fast enough. Okay. Okay, good. All right. How many, how many runes do, do I get? 18. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to bother picking them up. Actually. Can I travel to the Church of Hella while I'm, like, in the Evergal? Yeah, I can. It appears that I can. I mean, because I may as well buy some more arrows. I know I'm going to need them. And that's all I can afford. Well, shit. Well, if I had to choose between having an extra 20 arrows and not having an extra 20 arrows, I guess I would rather choose having an extra 20 arrows. Um, 
I can go to the Bridge of Sacrifice. And then ride back across. Yep, invisible horse. Oh, yeah, all right. Frame rate go back up. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I felt about the horse at first, but I'm liking it. Definitely makes it a lot easier to get around. The way the world is laid out. You know what? Let's just try this. Too close. He's very quick. I don't get time to do much at a range. Yeah, just running away is not good enough. Three in a row. God damn it. I mean, I was off to a decent start. Ooh, he jumped higher. Dang it. Although I think when he's on certain attacks, when he's about to when he's about to attack, he is tracking me. So I feel like I can sometimes fake him out. Like sometimes he will get a little bit more defensive if I move towards him.
He does seem to get a little more aggressive when it appears, when I appear to be walking back. So I wonder if I can use that to manipulate. Unless I'm just imagining that, because I spent a lot of time walking back. It's the sort of thing where it's like, I have an idea of how I want to play. And I feel like I have some strategies that work well. But at the same time, it's kind of like... It's very possible that some of the strategies I think work well are not actually working well. No. See, that was just me being dumb. You know what? I need to upgrade my... Yeah, I need to upgrade my flail. Something I've been meaning to do for a while. And also... I can see, check to see what other Ash of War I can apply to it. No. Hey, Jon Snow, still talking about your girlfriend? Ashes of War. This... Wild Strikes. Magic Flail. So... Oh, it turns it just more into a strength weapon. That's right too, I forgot. I choose? Oh! Interesting. Seventy-eight. Eight, three, and five? Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's just try it with spinning. Didn't waste anything. Okay, no, I didn't waste anything. Okay, so this ash is unequipped now. He sounds like he's struggling. Mighty shot. What does that do? Small bow made to fire. Okay, skill, mighty shot. Archery skill performed from an oblique stance. Ready the bow, then pull the bowstring to its limit to enhance the power of the shot, penetrating the enemy's guard. That could be good. That could be good. I'll apply it. I don't know if I want to keep it, but I'll apply it. Okay, so... Strength and Armament. Here's where we get things. Insufficient runes. Oh, I need runes. 300 runes. Hmm. Wait. Can I sell you stuff? Yes, I can. What is something... Well, I'll just sell this. There we go. Strength and armament. Magic flail. Up 
upgrade. About damn time. All right. Oh, that's the weed. That's my weed. All right. <clears throat> we will try this a little bit more, and then I think I'm done for the day, which is sad. I can get back at this for a little while tomorrow. Won't be able to go all day at it like I did today. It's, you know, responsibilities. That is cool. I like that. That is just, that just looks cool. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's go, let's go. Hi ho, hi ho. I was gonna get a little bit upset if he shot at me with that ballista. But it looks like we're safe. Oh, invisible. <laughs> Forgot I was riding a horse there for a second. All right. did a bit of damage, but I don't think it was worth it. Ooh. Yeah, when he's dragging his blade on the ground, he's gonna do an uppercut. It three times in a row. Choreographed each time. I still didn't. I still played right into his hands. Alright. Get him. Okay. Eesh. Eesh. Okay. I tried too hard to bat backpedal. Fiddle with the screen resolution a little bit. Because I just realized something about OBS. Hmm. I could do that, but then I would cut off. I was thinking I could do... Center... No. Bit to screen. Okay, that's what I got. And...
stretched to screen. That's not great either. You don't want it to look stretched. Center to screen. No. Fit to screen. Center vertically. Yeah, I could do that. And then center. But then it cuts off part of the mango hood, and I want that to be visible, because... For, mostly for my own purposes, but also so people can see that and helps them figure their stuff out. I'll just do fit to screen. That's just the way it's going to be. So, anyway. I'm going to take a couple more cracks at this and then probably call it a night. Seems like some side dashes should help. I'm just not doing them right. Okay. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm doing much better than I did before I upgrade my flail. I wonder if he's magic resistant. Because if he is, then I should probably change the ash. The call it the like the affinity of my flail. going to change armor. We're not going to... We haven't actually tried parrying. I keep on saying I'm going to try parrying. Let's try to parry his attacks. This is not a real fight here. This is me attempting to see if it's possible to parry him. Didn't even get a single parry off. Okay. Instead of doing my opening attack, I'm just gonna get ready to parry. Yeah. Well. There's gonna be a few bosses here that I'm just gonna bang my head against. I'm by no means an expert at this sort of game, but I do really like Dark Souls, and I do like these style of games. Man, okay, I was just stunlocked. Okay. 
Okay, so he does he does bleeding damage. Do I have anything that'll help prevent that? Which which one of the is it robustness? Blood loss. Okay, so higher robustness is better. We'll go with that. Hmm. Oh, we'll stick with that. Because if I'm going to try to parry him seriously, then I want to keep the knife on me. Okay. No, not a single parry. He really, he moves a lot like... Those frost night dudes. Those boreal knights from DS3. You can parry him. Okay. You can absolutely parry him. You just have to not die in the process. I wonder if it's possible to just do non-stop parries to him. <laughs> I know it's a cheat. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna test this out a little bit, see how far we can take it. This is... this might be my strategy. Alright. I've got to know when to go in and when to not go in. I think that'd be a very awkward way to fight. Going down on your hands and knees. Oh, your right hand is on a sword. So you really only got three points of contact. Hunched over. Okay. No. Too early. Way too early. Okay, so to make this work, I need to learn. I need to absolutely learn his moveset. Because there's going to be some moves I want to parry and some moves that are either not... Excuse me. That I are either not going to be able to parry or are just too difficult 
to do it reliably. No, that was a non-starter. Blue Cypher Ring. The whole shield counter thing, too, is probably something I need to look into more. So I'm probably not using it nearly as often as I could be. But that's probably better... Is there? <sighs> better as a strategy if I have a stronger defensive shield. Okay, so I was doing well before now. I kind of feel like the best way to go is just parries only. Need to work on it, but we're getting better. Ooh, I don't know how that missed me. No. I should not have tried to parry that one. I am reasonably sure. If you can see his blade scraping the ground, that's not a move you can parry. It's almost midnight. I was planning to go to bed before now. Okay. Let him move up. Yeah. Yeah. Spacing might be more important than I was realizing. Yeah. Okay, I need to be just far enough. Okay. you, Daryl. <laughs> okay, well, we did it. I wasn't expecting it to even get that far tonight. And that was by mo no means a perfect fight, but it was just parry after parry. That's okay. You know what? Thief is... Bandit is a pretty good class. Just in case, you know, you were on the fence about it. Bandit is a pretty good class. Hi, can I help you with something? Do you need something? No? Okay, we'll see you later. So this is done. 
this is not a place anymore. It's weird statue worms are still hanging around, but I don't think they realize they no longer have a purpose. Which is fine. No. God damn. Okay, so... I got... A lovely bunch of Bloodhound Fang. A curved greatsword with a gently undulating blade wielded by the Bloodhound Knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. Unique skill, Bloodhound's Finesse. Slash upwards with the Bloodhound's Fang, using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault <clears throat> and gain some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform the Bloodhound's Step Attack. Okay, so dexterity sword, but strength requirements. I'll keep it in mind for the future. Well. Fuck, okay. So, <clears throat> the key to that fight and I think this is the reason why I did so well, is spacing yourself just far enough so that you can see what he's about to do, but he has to come up to you to do it. And it's hard to... You, you kind of... you Like, after having him come up at me so many times while I was backing away, I just kind of realized, you know what? If I want him to come up, if he's going to come up and attack me, then let him come up and attack me. And that's when you parry. As long as he's not dragging his claws or his sword, causing those sparks on the ground, then you should be able to parry it. And a lot of the time he teleports right in front of you, waits just half a millisecond, and then swings. Usually that half a second was when I would do my jumping slam attack. But... You have to think differently if you're going for parries. That second is like, okay, don't parry yet. Now parry. So if you are having trouble with that Bloodhound fight, I mean, you saw how I did it. And like I said, it was by no means perfect, but it definitely got the job done. Okay, so we got that accomplished. Let's check this out over here. Kind of feel like just kind of fucking around for a little bit before I have before I quit. Gotcha. Oh, I don't get anything out of that. Well. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's dropped from him. Golden ring. It's a big bowl. I will pour my cereal in it. I am going to switch.
Yeah. Parry one enemy doesn't mean you can bury them all. No. Yeah. Let's check out this ball. Maybe it won't be a trap that kills me instantly. Starlight shards. It looks like some sort of astronomical thing. There is a lot of emphasis on astrology. You know. Hey, you know what? Let's take a look around. What can we, what can we learn about this world just by looking at the sky? There is a sun. There is a larger moon, perhaps? Any other heavenly bodies, considering we can't really see a whole lot? I'm gonna assume that's the moon. Either that, or we're on a moon of a planet. You know what? That's probably more likely, because that seems very large to be a moon. This is another minor urge tree. What are we at for? Yeah, we got 2,000. See if you attack this guy. <laughs> sorcerer on sorcerer battle. Oh, no. It doesn't even... Yeah focused on his job. Alright, sorry old man. Royal House Scroll. That seems important. Roa fruit. Oh, hello. Good thing you didn't kill me. I mean, I don't think he would have been able to, but... Oh, hello. What's your deal?
<laughs> Should I just wait? Is that all I need to do here? Now, do you drop something good? Looking like the answer to that is no. no. Yeah. Ah, shame. There's another one of you, your cool dudes. One of you cool dudes is what I meant to say, I think. You know what? Let us teleport away. And we'll call it there. End it on a high note. <clears throat> and and I'm midnight note, because it is midnight now. I ended up playing for two hours. I thought I was just gonna play for one. Alright. Well, if you haven't seen enough to convince you, just let me tell you. Elden Ring is a pretty good game. And... I hope you enjoyed the show so far. Me finally beating Bloodhound Knight. I need to take care of the minor Erdtree avatar. But that seems pretty... I mean... It's doable. Just as doable as the Bloodhound Knight. <laughs> anyway, regardless, hope you're enjoying the show so far. And I hope you all have a good one.